Reynolds back in a hurry. Reynolds to the hole. Rubio takes and scores! Cavalier Sports Weekly is presented by the Virginia Lottery, where all profits benefit Virginia's public schools grades K-12. through Buy clean, safe, reliable propane. Propane, exceptional energy. Buy GEICO. 15 minutes could save you 15% or more on car insurance. And brought to you in part by the Virginia Athletics Foundation, dedicated to providing scholarship, operational, and facility support for the Virginia Athletics Program. On this edition of Cavalier Sports Weekly, presented by the Virginia Lottery. I rarely look back at what, what I have done. I try to focus and better myself for the future. Welcome to Cavalier Sports Weekly. I'm Tara McKnight, number 21 on the women's basketball team. We've got a lot of great highlights and features for you on today's show, but first, here's your play of the week. The play of the week is brought to you by SunTrust Mortgage. We make the American dream come true every day. Singletary gets the screen from Times, goes left, Singletary inside, floats off the window, couldn't get it, got his own rebound, hitting the rim, and he's coming right back out. He gets out of a triple team. I was trying to split. You know, the double team, and I, I was off balance, so I had to get the ball up on the backboard or on the rim so I can get it back because one person know where the ball is going if they miss the shooter. So I tried to miss it short, hit the backboard and rim, and I was able to get it back. I was trying to put it back, but I wasn't able to get a good grasp on it, so I just took it back and um, just ran some time off the clock. Stay tuned. Virginia game highlights are coming up next. Back the other way, Pettinello and Airborne. Adrian Joseph, the ball fake. Back outside, JR. JR in the lane. Shovel oh, off. Pettinello layup good. Welcome back to Cavalier Sports Weekly. Our men's basketball team was back in the John Paul Jones Arena hosting Longwood and Florida State this week. Let's check out the highlights. The Cavalier Game Highlights are presented by GEICO. 15 minutes could save you 15% or more on car insurance. The theme that I wanted to try to get back to was playing basketball the, the, the way that we've tried to play it all year long. Sideline right, Singletary, deep three, bullseye. Oh, yeah, what, oh, what that is. was right in front of the Longwood bench. Instead, it'll be Singletary off the down screen. Little backdoor cut, Reynolds. Reynolds has got the easy layup good. A little guard magic by Virginia, the 9 nothing start. Now faces a double team, gets it back outside Diani. Diani, Singletary, they rotate the open three, bullseye. He needed today to play well because he's coming off of a day where I'm sure he was very disappointing, disappointed at his play the other night. So making those early baskets, I think, got him off to, at least mentally, a positive start. Entry to the wing, Adrian Joseph picking up the dribble. Diani, oh, got by his man, off the window, good. Giving it up, Sean, Cavs want to push. Right side, it'll be Diani, send it home one hand. And Tunji gives it up, Singletary. So it'll be Singletary across the timeline. The wide open three for Sean. You can put that one in the program. I think our challenge today was was more mental and, and, and how good teams have to play regardless of the day, regardless of the opponent. So, you know, it, it's it's a different kind of challenge. And sometimes that challenge is more... Uh, more mental than it is physical. Switches hands right at half court. Sean looking at another deep three. Bullseye. So Virginia needs to maintain their focus and continue to play hard and execute on offense. And Deani down the lane. Layup good right here. Reynolds holds on to the dribble, goes to the left side. Singletary wide open. Little reverse by Sean, and he gets it to go. A little kind iron that time for Sean. I think right now we need a day out of the gym just to um, rest our minds and rest our bodies. And then we've got a very talented Florida State come, team coming in here on Saturday, and and uh, they're going to challenge us as much as we've been challenged all year by their the way they play. And, you know, again, they're playing for something. Um 
And, and so we're going to need to play basketball the way we have for, for the last month or so. Joel Rowe makes a move. Oh, a block with a block. Oh. Burns coming right after him again. He bothers that shot. And the rebound down. Left-handed dribble to walk on to Burns. Burns for the three. Oh, my goodness. He knocked it down. Well, this place is going crazy. They are off the bounce. Rich doing a good job defensively. Kane got by his man. Inside. Layup. Kane took Al Thornton to the hole. Thornton stops and Thornton in trouble. Throws it away and Tunji got the steal. It'll be Reynolds right back. Reynolds will pull. 21 feet for the three. Book it. That's what Virginia's going to need. Singletary going to the wing left side. Kicks in the corner. Joseph putting up the three. Bottom. One of our focuses coming into the game was to not lose two league games in a row. You know, we did that once before early in the year. We don't want to do that, particularly at this time of year. And, and uh, you know, just play it day by day and, and get as many wins as you can. Singletary skies and rips it off the window. It'll be Singletary in transition. Kicks it out. Joseph, 17 feet inside the arc. Off the window. It's good. End of the game is Russell Soto to the right side. Reynolds in the corner. Joseph for the three. Got a look. Book it. Eight points in the game now. It'll be Singletary off the dribble. Singletary with a running jump shot. Front of the rim, no good. Tipped by Sorori. Got it back. Puts it up and scores. I think he stays with it. I feel better, you know. Um, I think I'm getting more in shape and in shape, so uh, that's kind of helping me. Just go out there and know what I got to do for the team to win. Let's just do it. Cavs take it away. Riddles almost got tackled. It'll be Singletary back to Joseph. Squaring for the three. Splash. AJ has been the difference in the basketball game thus far. Singletary. Reynolds. Reynolds off the bill. Dribble to Singletary. Looking for the three. Boom. Oh, wow. he leaves the arm in the air. He knew that one. You, you, you find different ways to get things done. And, you know, Sean was really, really energized today. And uh, you know, as a result, he kind of gave other guys that weren't as energized more more energy and, and allowed them to make plays they hedge he is going to be wide open ball fake 15 jumper good clock at 25 singletary in the front court he got free for the three why not singletary second three adrian joseph the ball fake back outside jr jr in the lane shovels what a oh, dish. And a layup good. Singletary gets the screen, goes left, kicks outside Diani with the ball fake. Now the jump shot by Mamadi, off the rim, no good. Tunji going after the rebound, tap, Singletary layup, good. It's always good to win, but we just had that winning mentality on this team, something we didn't have since I've been here. And when we in, like, when it's five minutes left, you know, I can see it in everybody's eyes that they want to win. And that's why we've been pulling games out this year. We got a stretch at the beginning of the second half where we went to some ball screens out of out of our motion and freed Sean up and got us a lead, and then we got stagnant. But when we needed baskets, they understood. And what we've been talking about, you know, just looking at Florida State, was that we could uh, get some inside penetration. And we thought we could do that. We didn't do it continuously, but we did it at the right time, which is critical. Reynolds, the three! Book it! It'll be Reynolds out the wing. Reynolds going in against Rich. He got free. Kicks Harris. Harris puts it to the floor inside. And one. He got fouled. Got the bucket. Singletary off the dribble. Got hit once, twice. He draws. Dishes. Joseph the three. Bullseye. Adrian Joseph. He has been big today. Coach scored a play, you know, for either me, Sean, or GI to get open coming off those screens. So, you know, whoever got open. You know, take the open shot, and I happen to get open, and I made those big shots. Singletary gets it in the corner, right side, ball fake, and Joseph, the jumper for three, bullseye. Joseph looked at it from deep, but gives it up. Reynolds off the bounce. Reynolds inside, low, Kane, reverse, layup, good. Jason Kane and a perfect pass from JR. The only significance we have right now is is trying to prepare and beat our next opponent and, and so with the ninth win, obviously it means you're not going to be 500 or less. Um, you're going to have a positive record in this league, which is an accomplishment. But you know, it pales in comparison, I think, to where we really are, are, are trying to head in terms of what we want to do in this league. And in order to get there, we've got to continue to, to manage ourselves day to day so that we can prepare to play in Miami on Wednesday, which we'll, you know we haven't been down there, at least I haven't, in, in a very difficult chore for us. Swimmer Vanya Rogush has had an amazing career. He has been named ACC Swimmer of the Year, and he has represented his native Croatia in the Olympics. Vanya is also a gifted artist and photographer, and he is your student athlete of the week.
The Student Athlete of the Week is presented by the Virginia Lottery. In 2006, the Virginia Lottery contributed a record $454 million to public schools throughout the Commonwealth. I rarely look back at what, what I have done. I try to focus and better myself for the future. So I, I don't honestly have any, any great moments, but obviously going to the Olympics is, is a highlight. Um, and just every time you swim your best time, you beat yourself and improve upon what your best time is. The first time I was there, I was, I was only 18. Um, so it was, it was impressive to look around all the great athletes that I've seen throughout the meets, throughout the world before, and just um, so focused and ready. It's, a, it's, it's an amazing atmosphere when 15,000 people are in the stands and just cheering people on, and excitement is obviously there. My hometown especially is, is well known for their, their athletes. It's, it's only a 300,000 people city and um, we've had as much as five or six NBA, NBA players and um, just a numerous, of Olympic, numerous Olympic champions and world record holders and in many sports. It's a beautiful location actually. I'm, my hometown is about um, 1,700 years old. It was built by Romans. So the city center is, is amazing. It has a, an amazing cultural, cultural value. There were a couple of factors that made me, made me choose UVA over other colleges. First of all, it was, I was actually recruited by a Croatian assistant coach that used to be here. And the other reason was that Ed Moses was swimming over here, who used to and still is a world record holder in my events. So. It was a great experience to swim with him for two years that he's been here. Um, and obviously because the, uh, the school, the education in this school is amazing. When we're in competition at like ACC's or whatever, his, his level of experience, his Olympic experience, I think has, has made him a, that much better of an athlete than the other people around because he knows what it's like to, to compete under pressure and he can, he can, he can step it up a level that, that a lot of people can't. I do all the, all the breaststroke commands for the uh, UBA swim team, including the relays, and I do some I am, which I'm happy to be, uh, to have improved so much since I came here. Looking in the future, I'm, I'm just hoping to make another Olympics um, in, in Beijing and then from from that point on uh, I'm really quite uncertain what's going to happen with my swimming but if I if I do something memorable and special to me I might I might continue Virginia baseball season is officially underway Let's take a look at our team in this week's Who's Heating Up. Who's Heating Up is brought to you by Propane Exceptional Energy. The expectations on our 2007 team are at an all-time high. What we've accomplished in this program over the last three years, we've set the bar very, very high. The outside expectations are high for this team, and uh, our players' and coaches' expectations of each other and our performances is very high, too. So we're looking forward to getting things started in the 2007 season. Pitching and defense have, have been strong suits of our program for the last three years, and I don't see that changing at all this year. We've got um, our top two starting pitchers back. We have our two top relief pitchers back, and Michael Schwimmer and Casey Lambert, and also a number of other quality pitchers, and Pat McEnany and Andrew Carraway, and, and some new additional pitchers that'll that'll add a, a lot to our pitching staff. But what I'm most excited about really is, is our offensive ball club. Uh, last year we were one of the top 20 offensive teams in the country. And I just feel like this year with having a veteran lineup, I feel like one through nine through our entire lineup we can threat to score runs anywhere. I think that's a, a sign of a, a good ball club and a, and a very good offensive team where you, know, you don't rely just on the guys in the middle of your order every game to score runs for you. And I believe uh, anywhere in that lineup, we can we can put up run production. 
if you have a type of ball club to where you're stuck into one style through all your players, it makes it tough day in and day out to to be productive. But you know, I, I like our lineup and I like our options. We've got guys with uh, that we can put in the top of the order that are uh, speed guys: Greg McClatt, Mike Mitchell, Tim Henry, those kind of players that are able to going to be able to steal 20 or 30 bases in a college season. We got guys in the middle of the lineup that can hit the ball, the ballpark. Brandon Marsh and Sean Doolittle and Brandon Geyer and Jeremy Farrell and David Adams and other players. You know, and then uh, we've got guys that'll hit towards the end of the lineup that um, are going to produce runs, work the count, get on base, work walks, uh, and be productive offensive players. And you know, through a 56-game schedule that we'll play in the regular season, I just think that's so important to have. Uh, your ability to, to get run production from all different points in the lineup. Well, Sean Doolittle's had a great career here already, just after two seasons. And, uh, you know, it's important from a, from a national standpoint to have a player like Sean Doolittle, the reigning ACC Player of the Year. He does so much for our team, starts the opening game on Friday night in our league on the mound and, and hits in the middle of our order. And, you know, you get a lot of recognition to your program when you have a player of that magnitude. And, and he's done a great job for two years in our program, leading our team both on the mound and the, at the plate. And he's going to be expected to carry the weight again uh, this year. The great thing about, I think, this team is we've got a lot of really good players surrounding him. So there's not the pressure on him night in and night out to perform at a high level because there's guys around him that will be able to pick him up. We played very well under some tough conditions. Um, a n- number of different guys in our lineup had good days. Greg McClapp, Brandon Geyer, uh, those guys stepped up today and had big days offensively. And Sean Doolittle uh, was in control of the game from the start and, and pitched very well. Today I really wanted to get to the sixth inning. Uh, I was hoping to get a little farther than that, but I was trying to keep my pitch count down and let uh, – you know, my defense stayed active uh, with the cold weather. I was trying not to have him stand around. Kind of got lucky with the first triple there with uh, the guy slipping. But uh, the second one was pretty much fastball in and um, put another good swing on that one too. Coming up after the break... There is another point at stake in the Commonwealth Challenge on Thursday when our women's basketball team traveled to Blacksburg to take on the Hokies. Let's check out the game story. The Women's Basketball Spotlight is presented by the Virginia Athletics Foundation. Long pass up the floor to right. Monica jump stops in traffic, lean through and scores. Monica Wright off to a great start, playing through two personal fouls. Virginia's lead 31 to 20, 6.30 to go first half. So great bounce pass into Robertson who drop steps, powers up and scores on top of Dre. Yeah, every game from here on out is a must win for us. Game by game, we're just trying to play and, and do our best, get better every time. I feel like we're, we're getting better as a team right now. You know, we're starting to, to buy into the coaches emphasis on things and it's all we can do game by game we're playing we got one on Sunday and that's all we're looking at right now down the lane from right to left got stuffed on the running jump shot by Robertson who digs it out of a crowd and McGuire with a loose ball sends it up the floor to Zoll backdoor pass Williams by herself like coach Ryan said our guards did a great job in you know the past couple practices the folks have been working hard on getting low and posting up a lot harder and demanding the basketball, and, you know, that's what happened, and that's what we've been practicing, so that's what, you know, came out on the court, and the guards did a great job of finding it. Wheeling, dealing on Jawara, falls away, kisses it softly off the glass and scores. I thought Alicia Kellum had a great game tonight. I mean, she gave us 22 great minutes, and uh, she was in almost that whole period. Short, Beth Duncanberger frustrated with that quick shot. Kellum comes back, jump stop through traffic, and lays it in off the glass. Wow, she took up space in a triple team and scored. We definitely are a team that likes to run, so playing at a high pace is something that we're comfortable with. So having to do that for two halves and put two halves together is what we need to like probably get better on. We always work on the last three minutes of the game and how we need to finish the game and not let teams come back and beat us. So we basically just came out and got ourselves hyped up to just finish it like we should have. Our chemistry is getting better and better every day, and 
I feel like we just have a great chance at this end of the season to make a great run. In other Cavalier sports action this week. Thanks for watching Cavalier Sports Weekly. We'll be back next week with more ACC basketball highlights and a preview of our defending national champion men's lacrosse team. Until then, go Hoos! Cavalier Sports Weekly is presented by the Virginia Lottery, where all profits benefit Virginia's public schools grades K-12. through Buy clean, safe, reliable propane. Propane, exceptional energy. Buy GEICO. 15 minutes could save you 15% or more on car insurance. And brought to you in part by the Virginia Athletics Foundation, dedicated to providing scholarship, operational, and facility support for the Virginia Athletics Program.